Aloha, dickheads. I know it's been a while. Welcome to another episode of the most hated program on YouTube. And what I mean by that is I hate it. This is TFB TV Mailroom 60 something where I open your weird and creepy and often disgusting in a number of ways fan mail packages. Thank God alcohol gets me through it, as with most challenges in life. Port Orleans Brewing Company made right up the street, three-day weekend, hibiscus lime ale. Oh, that's amazing. I knew that already, though. I've had this bunch. I love it. So might have a couple. It's been a hell of a week. And this is the first weekend that I've been back in town since April. Right now, it's Friday, the 21st of July, and it's the first weekend that I've been in New Orleans since April, which is crazy. Then I'm turning right back around, and I am filming at Thunder Ranch all next week, leaving on Monday morning, first thing in the morning. I'll be back, going to Chicago for Lollapalooza, where I am also going to film with Twista. So if you're an old piece of shit like me, and you listen to rap music in high school or whatever, you definitely know who Twista is. So me and, and T, gonna be up there. That's what I call them now, because we're such good friends. Me and T, gonna be filming up in Chicago right after Lollapalooza. If you like this, support me on preferably Subscribestar. Everything else kind of sucks. I would really appreciate it. We don't accept money in exchange for positive reviews on TFB TV. I have a shitload of mail to open. This is from March 7, 2023, and this poor bastard paid 45 bucks to ship all this shit. What a waste. I'm sure it's not his only poor life decision. Let's see what we got in here. Hopefully it's sarin gas so I can die and never have to do this again. Oh no, it's honky from our Discord, TFB TV Discord. By the way guys, ping me on TFB TV Discord. I don't get on there long enough. If you go in the uh, patron, patron, supporter, whatever chat that we have in there, get on there, just ping me. Uh, I need to get on there and respond more often. If I'm available, I'll probably jump in. James, King Honky here. Sorry for the packing job, but when you spend money trying to get you sluts? Stout! Stout! Okay, I'll take either. From Western Wyoming and New Zealand and a nice gin, no expense is spared. Enjoy, honey. Honky. God damn, your handwriting. I mean, par for the course at this point. Everybody knows that uh, you guys either write like children or serial killers or, or both. All right, what do we got here? Okay, Baby Yoda lunchbox. I have not watched the full first series of The Mandalorian. I actually borrowed Disney Plus from a friend, watched all the episodes except for the last one because it hadn't been published yet or whatever. So I haven't finished it, but I need to just start it all over, watch it from the beginning. Okay, Snake River Spear Gun Stout, handcrafted in Jackson Hole, Wyoming. Eight Wired Eye Stout, Double Imperial Stout, 15%. This isn't a stout, this is not a beer. This is a, a wine. This is a, a strong wine. Eight Wired Eye Stout Affogato. You call somebody an Affogato in my neighborhood, you better be ready to throw down, brother. Imperial Stout, coffee and vanilla, 10% product of New Zealand. Dude, this is awesome. I'm not going to lie. I'm uh, Honky, you're an idiot, but uh, wow, this is impeccable taste. Biohazardous waste. And we've got a couple more stouts in here. Okay, now this stuff is getting kind of gross, dude. There's just like a lot of a lot of animal fur and stains. 2013 National Cross Country Championship, Fairbanks, Alaska. Oh, shit! More stouts. Let's see, trash. Um, this looks like an expended five five six round. Some gum wrappers. Drawing of a penis on some foam. Okay, this is all pretty standard TFB TV mailroom stuff here. Gross old t shirt.
Absaruka, Absaroka? I don't know. Double cask gin, Jackson Hole still works. Damn, 98 proof, handmade. Honky, you're a little weird, no one likes you, but you're a good guy. Take a short break to introduce everybody to Tuck Tuck. Tuck Tuck is the newest cat that we have. That's three inside cats that we have now in addition to Geronimo, AKA Jeezy and Josephine. Tuck Tuck is a Manx. That's why he doesn't have a tail and that's why he's got a great personality. I normally would not want to have a third cat. Like two cats I think is the magic number. Three is a huge pain in the ass, but Lindsay's sister found Tuck Tuck run over on the side of the road and uh, he's made a recovery he's still just a kitten um, he's doing fine he's being a little asshole to his brother new brother and sister but he's a pretty good cat he just wanted to say hi to everyone big ass dildo company wichita kansas i will be in wichita for TriggerCon. we're gonna do a meetup I, i'm pretty sure in uh trigger con you guys just uh text me or dm me or Email me, james at tfb.tv if you're interested. Uh, TriggerCon, I will be there with Luke C. James, just beer in here. Hope my package doesn't disappoint like it has so many others. Oh, I'm sure those guys were fine with it. Just wanted to drop a note and say thanks for all you and the TFB TV crew do to bring quality content without constant shilling for the sponsor of the day. Thank you, we try our best. You know, Glock is a sponsor. We sign off on all sponsorships. Glock is a sponsor, but I've been constantly shilling for them for years. Um, Springfield is paying for us to go to Thunder Ranch, which is why we're torture testing the Echelon. They wanted us to go up there and torture test it and run it through three days of Clint's handgun course because they think that they can pass it. So I'm bringing one up there, we'll see. To show my appreciation, I've included a beer from a hometown brewery, Rar and Sons, pronounced Rar, out of Fort Worth, Texas. While it might not be as fruit forward as many of your favorites, I figure the homage to exposed quads might sway you. Keep up the good work. Thanks for everything. Lauren B, L-O-R-E-N. Also wanted to say thank you for introducing me to a beat of strawberry. It's tasty and delightful. While I don't drink as much beer as I used to, it's quickly becoming one of my favorites. Dude, 125 calories, tastes great. You can crush as many of them as you want. The only problem is finding it in Kansas. And I love it. Spider-Man meme. You know, I'm something of a gun and beer snob myself. I love you guys. Rar and Sons Brewing Company, Adios Pantalones. Cerveza de Session. Is that racist? Am I allowed to make that voice? Beer with lemon and lime, 4.5% alcohol, 19.2 ounce banger. What are we, why 19.2 ounces? Anyways, I'm pretty stoked for this, thank you. Spencer from Boise, Idaho. Speaking of, Mike, I believe it was, from Boise, Idaho, who came down to the grand opening of Neutral Ground Gun Company. Dude, I feel really bad. I'm just putting it out there, I feel really bad. You traveled such a long way. I mean, you saw how busy it was, I felt like I didn't spend as much time with you as you deserve to chat with you or whatever, so I owe you. And also, I hate that it was like you and that one other guy who almost won the Rainier Arms Rifle and it was the other guy who won it. I wish you would have gotten it. April 13, 2023, let's get the mom's basement and Totino's pizza jokes out of the way. It's all true. Now that that's out of the way, I love what you do. I want to show you the ammo boxes that I make and sell on monolithsystems.etsy. Dot com. I love making custom boxes like this too. The boxes are designed to hold ammo snugly so it doesn't rattle around. Perfect for you OCD nut jobs. Actually, there's not a lot of you. I mean, most of you are absolutely fucking disgusting. Boxes stack on each other too, like 5.56 and 9mm, 7.62, 10mm. Thanks for being a light in my life. Oh, come on. Bents. With a name like Bents, Bents, B E N C E. Handwriting like this, you know that this guy went to some kind of art school and he's gonna do something fancy and make a career out of Etsy. Monolith Systems USA at gmail.com. 100% chance this guy was smoking pot in seventh grade and got all his clothes from Hot Topic. Cheeked up. That's funny. Little 3D printed. This is fancy. This is fancy. Look at that. Love you, James. You guys are too nice to me, man. I'm such an asshole to you guys. You're way better fans than I deserve. 
Also, I literally will never use this. I couldn't possibly imagine taking like a box of ammo or taking any ammo and individually putting it into these little holes. There's, there's no way. I, I don't have time for that. But this is very nice. Let's see, we got a two two three five five six version, ten millimeter. See who's this organized? I'll tell you who. Accountants or architects, like that guy who just got busted. The Gilgo Beach guy uh, just got busted banging hookers and, and killing them and dumping their bodies in burlap bags. That's the kind of guy that, that's going to use stuff like this. Ooh, 300 Blackout. I, okay, I might use this one. There's a song by a band called Panama Wedding. And the opening couple of lines, and I've listened to the song since like 2014, whenever it came out. The first couple of lines are like the county chief in Gilgo Beach found another one. I didn't really understand the reference because I had never heard of the Gilgo Beach thing that had been happening apparently since 2010. Also kind of fucked up that there are all these other bodies out there and they aren't prostitutes. And so it's like, did this guy do it? Like, did he just kill an Asian kid for fun, for like, for the jollies? Just see if it was any different. Maybe he's getting bored with like attractive 20 something year old prostitutes from New York City. He's like, man, I'm just going to uh, go ahead and murk a little Chinese boy or something. I, I don't know. It's crazy, man. Um, just all those. But what am I even talking about? Can we just open some more mail? Okay. Oh, I know what this is. This is a titty mouse pad. Probably going to be Asian anime. Oh! Oh! I just want to know... Lindsay is going to freak out. I just want to know who out there knew that maybe if I ever hypothetically watched Attack on Titan, which I fervently deny because that's pure degeneracy, that my favorite character would be Big Booby Mikasa Ackerman. Oh my God, we are just moving offices at the firm like next week, and I am going to put this on my desk. If Lindsay doesn't see it and throw it away first, oh my God, this is awesome. Hypothetically, hypothetically. Michael W. from Braintree, Vermont. My God, guys, this, is, this episode is like the beer payload. Come on, no creepy, scary letter, just a bunch of beer. Odd Pets, American Stout, Kramer and Kin. Stout. God, it is not stout weather. It's been like 100 degrees in New Orleans. Fair Acre Amber Lager. Related to that really funny thing, I was at Blue Angels and I ran into Matt Gates and had a conversation with him about global warming and he 1000% believes that global warming is a real thing. I thought that was kind of funny. You guys probably think I'm making that up. It's 1 million percent true. Quick Brown Fox. English style mild ale. That should be interesting. A veritable bounty of beers. Ooh, gross. Come on, guys. I like them fruity, not this fruity. Woodchuck hard cider pear secco. That's a play on prosecco, obviously. Yeah, another cider. Let's see. Citra and Galaxy. That's type of hops, I believe. Dry hopped hard cider. That's weird. I'm going to try it. Yorkshire English style dark porter, Queen City Brewery. This one sounds like it's gonna be lovely. Well, thank you, Michael. You're just one of those weird voyeurs, right? You just like to watch. You don't like to participate. No letter, just a bunch of delicious beer. Anonymous sender, Huntington Beach, California. I love Huntington Beach. I think it's a great area. God, I just went to LA. That place is going to hell in a hand basket. Side note, I've been watching that. Um, it's on Netflix. It's about the Cecil Hotel or the Hotel Cecil or whatever. Um, dude, that's a good little mini documentary if you're into like true crime murder stuff like Lindsay and I are. So we just finished the second episode last night. It's pretty effing good. Maybe that's why I'm all up in this Gilgo Beach guy. I mean, what happened? You know, just one day he's like, you know, I would really like to kill a hooker. How does that happen? Oh, Christ. Always love when there's a staple in the corner. It means it's multiple pages. 
Hello again, my little salt and pepper haired beef thief. It's your boy Muff Marauder. You may remember me from such films as TFB TV Mailroom 56. No, I don't remember you. As well as the porno Hogging Hops Slam Pig Sisters number 69. I'm once again asking for your comedic support. Dear James Reeves, fuck your face for posting so many YouTube thumbnails of hot babes holding stuff at gun shows. Only for the subsequent videos to feature nothing but hairy, old, incomprehensible European men. You see, that, that's what he's leading in here on this. So this is very important to him. This letter is two pages long. It better not be all about this. Your new channel, TFB TV Showtime, is awesome, but the chick-to-dick ratio is false advertising. What do you expect? What do you expect, Gilgo Beach Killer? It's 96% males that watch gun content, at least in our channel. False advertising and completely backwards, just like the Pam and Tommy show on Hulu. Congrats on turning 40. I reluctantly accepted your invite to celebrate in Vegas, but thankfully a good friend's wedding distracted me from that abortion parade of a birthday party you hosted. You didn't even get arrested, you pussy. In lieu of the gift of my presence, I have submitted some gifts and presents. Guaranteed these goodies will cheer you up. First, I apologize. This package does not contain any dumbass challenge coins, a.k.a. Patriot Pogs. However, I did include some patches which I scored a deal on from a friend of TFB TV. I visited a gun show halfway between Phoenix and Tucson in winter 2022. When I mentioned to a random vendor that I was a fan of TFB TV, so you just go around and just tell random people you're a fan. I appreciate you. You know that. He immediately double checked if my credit card was fraudulent. Ha ha. And then he offered me a deep discount on some awesome patches since I live in the shadow of Disneyland's Matterhorn here in Orange County. I opted for a mouse-themed patch. Along with these patches, I've included some Biden bucks to help you fight this raging inflation we're dealing with by a sweaty lap dance. Should you decide to put any of my patches on your patch wall, I strongly encourage you to rip down all the previous patches, throw them in the trash where they belong so as not to contaminate these awesome patches. You could simply mail them to lucky viewers. This kickoff of a new patch wall will incentivize viewers to send more patches in, which has slowed as of late. You know, actually, it's not a bad idea. Maybe I will refresh it. Also included here, a shirt from your favorite city. In women's size small, I've saved you a step and pre-fag bagged the shirt for your convenience. Thank you again for dutifully speaking my words out of your wife's fun hole, your mouth. As always, I volunteer my own fun holes to your new hire, the beautiful Kelsey B. Kelsey's great. Um, she will not fun hole you, I promise. I cordially invite her to scroll her phone number across her buttocks and moon us in the next mail room. I will contact her ASAP. <laughs> You'll have to get through her boyfriend who's been shot three times. The guy's pretty tough. Signed, your friend, brother, and secret lover, Muff Marauder, March 9, 2023. This guy's literally insane. Huntington Beach, more like Gilgo Beach, probably. Fucking nut. Oh, my God. Jesus, I hate you people so much. I mean, so much. Excellent anime, a manifesto. The definitive list of all great animes, mangas, and other Japanese-style cartoons of the world compiled by Muff Marauder. See, I mean, I could get on board with some of this. So, it's all blank pages. <laughs> with a page at the back that says, fuck weeps. That's funny. That is funny. I will say that. That's funny. Yeah, a million dollars. I got one of these. My dad thinks this is funny as shit, too. So you have the same sense of humor as my dad, who's 85 years old. And this shirt. It is a lady small. Yeah, I think I'm going to give this one to Lindsay and... Grab another beer. Lindsay really likes the Skaterade Crisp Pilsner from Gnarly Barley in Hammond, Louisiana, right nearby. It's, they're a little hoppy for me, but they're not bad. Praise God. The last two. Matt K. Gilbert, Arizona. Sounds a lot like 
Gilgo. Seriously, how many of you guys have murdered a hooker? Don't tell me I've done 60-something episodes and I haven't received one package from a murderer because I guarantee you I have. James has made evident in your recent video attempting to do a burn down of the Benelli M4. You won't recognize what these two bottles are I've sent you. The blue one should help with all your light mounts falling off as showcased to the montage of the beginning of the video, of course. Starting with a quality part would help as well. The impact weapons component light mount for the Benelli is a great option. The red one is to use on things you have no intention. Okay, I know you're sending me blue and red Loctite, you fucking wise ass. I mean, I know what Loctite is. I swear to God, nobody believes me, but that was... Gretna Gun, guys, I know you're watching this. I sent that M4. Here's the handguard right here. I have it right here to throw it away. Um, I sent that M4 to Gretna Gunworks across the river... Those guys normally do a great job of gunsmithing, but this one is all dremeled up. The gun was put together like shit, and I, I had nothing to do with it. I had nothing to, nor would I. I'm not saying I'm a good gunsmith. I'm not, but all I'm saying is, like, I know what Loctite is, you son of a bitch. The factory tube threads are covered in red Loctite. To some, that's regarded as a clue. Ha. Huh. If you're hesitant to put your M4 together properly, I understand, but I hesitate to suggest the use of a gunsmith because I fear that if you use the same one, you might receive it back with a red Loctite having been poured into the firing pin channel, something, something, dick stuck in a ceiling fan. If you made it this far, my entire ego is wrapped around my M4, clearly, and I'm insecure in this fact that other shotguns like the 1301 and A300 threaten my ability to flex the superiority of my Benelli, respectfully. Matt, P.S., you suck. P.S.S., not really. Look forward to the follow-up video. This was a joke. You probably saw the follow-up video. And frankly, man, I have shot the M4 a whole bunch, right? Um, I've gone from four semi-automatic shot Five, I'm sorry. Five semi-automatic shotguns to three. I got rid of my A300 because as much as I love it. That was today. Today I got rid of it. I took it to the shop and put it on consignment. Um, and it sold already, like the same day. Those things are so hot right now. So I don't have an A300 anymore. I got rid of that Benelli M4. I was like, there is no point. I think that the 1301 just smokes it in every way. And I'm probably going to do a video about that, like a, a full discussion of shotguns. I still have the 940 Tactical. I still have the 1301, obviously. And... I still have a Molot Vepper 12 SBS, which is really more, I mean, they're cool, they're reliable, uh, they run well, but I mean, at the end of the day, and maybe I'll just get into it later, but mag-fed 12 gauge is not really that great of an idea. Actually, I am out of blue Loctite, so this is great. Thank you, I appreciate it. What's up with these creeps from Kansas lately? Wellington, Kansas, Skimbleshanks. Something tells me this isn't your Christian name, son. Christ, more anime. Dear James, thank you for all the great content. Here's some more. I doubt it. The patch I made with no Velcro, just the way you like it, which, yeah, it means I'm not going to use it. A jar. See, in a jar, in, in quotation marks, it makes me really, really freaked out. With a pony for your personal use? Two sketches I made of you and your son... In my years as a cop, I did a variety of... Oh, you were a police officer. Huh. Huh. In my years as a cop, I did a variety of sketches, so these are your unofficial police sketches. Do whatever you want with them. I've also included a very great read that will make a great addition to the public book exchange. It was great to meet you and Luke at TriggerCon. Thank you for the patch. It's in Wichita again this year, and again, I will be there. Two days indoors and the third at the range. We'll be there for the whole thing. Keep up the great work. I wrote this as I was reading your latest letter and subscribe star detailing YouTube's latest shenanigans. Hope this section of content continues. All the best. A $25 tier subscriber. Skimble Shakes. Speaking of, I've heard Ian does like a uh, a tier, like a reward tier. You know, I, I don't like doing reward tiers that are higher. I it, Doing 25 took years for me to go above 10. And even then, it's limited to 100 supporters at 25. Just because, I mean, that is a substantial amount of money. 
So if you can tell me, I mean, tell me in the comments, like, what do you guys want from me? I know Ian, I was mentioning, does like a, I will review whatever gun you want tier. I haven't looked into it. So, you know, I mean, tell me, is that a good idea? Anyways, here's this stupid patch, anime patch. Oh, the Unabomber Manifesto. So uh, technically I've received two manifestos this episode. Oh my f***ing Okay, Google, call the police. I hate these goddamn videos. Boy, do I ever hate them. But it makes you guys really happy. <laughs> God damn. <Ooh. laughs> Little Gilgo burp right there. But it makes you guys so happy. So I do them for you. I am opening mail again. So if you want to send a package, the address is below. Don't but you could. Bye, guys.